Welcome to How to Save Your Marriage with Nicola Beer, a full show of tips and practical strategies to repair, rebuild, and strengthen your relationship. If you are currently stuck, wondering if your marriage can be saved, or you know you want to save it but don't know how to go about changing it, this show is for you. To book your free marriage strategy session with Nicola, get the free marriage ebook or donate. If you are enjoying the show and want to help keep it flowing, visit www.nicolabeer.com. Hi and welcome. I'm so excited you're here and thank you so much for listening to this episode because this episode is really sharing and revealing to you a shocking study that I created on why traditional ways of manifesting don't work and why it's so important for us to release stress from our bodies, to release the tension and how if you're struggling in your relationship, if you're struggling with your relationship with how you treat yourself, if you're struggling with the relationship with food, with alcohol, with anything, if you're feeling negative, if you're not get, having the finances you want, the career you want, then this really, really can help you. And not only do I really believe that it can help you because it's transformed my life and I've been doing it privately now with so many people across the world. I'm ready to bring this to the world at a super, super affordable rate that everyone should be able to afford and where we can all manifest and support one another And it's just going to be amazing. So thank you very much for listening to this episode. I'm going to be sharing a link along with this episode if you want to read more about how to join and how to really start changing your life. Because I've been working on this project for a long time. And what I'm going to be sharing with you is a movement manifestation tool that has already helped so many people across the world, get into divine flow in less than 10 minutes a day. If you want to discover the natural effortless way to manifesting everything you want, then I'm going to share with you my story of how I discovered it, what this special offer that I have for you is, and details on why it's so powerful and whether you want to join or not. Hopefully this will give you some indication on how to help yourself if you feel like, Nicola, I don't want to join this, but I do want to change my life and maybe I'm going to take some of the tools that you've given and apply it in my own way. So it's entirely up to you. My whole purpose of this episode is for you to have the freedom and success and happiness that you deserve. We're not meant to be miserable We're not meant to have negative thoughts. We're not meant to attack ourselves. We're not meant to be addicted to all these horrible things that start off as good things but then overtake our lives. I've suffered a lot in my life and I'm so grateful that I got the downloads, the tools, the strategies. I'm so grateful to myself for being such a geek when it comes to researching and trying loads of different healing and meditation courses and all these different manifestation tools and you know I I really do geek out and get into things I'm fascinated about healing making our lives better and better it's been a passion for mine since I was 14 and experienced a really low period in my life so this is my best most exciting work yet and you are having and listening to it now. So whether you've been listening to my podcast for a few days, a few weeks, a few months, maybe even a few years, welcome. And I'm so thrilled that you're giving me the opportunity to share this with you. So let's just take you back to how I discovered it. So I was sitting there looking at another Instagram post thinking, is this what my life has come to? I felt a deep sense of misalignment in my life. A week before, I'd finally officially split from my boyfriend. I felt drained, like my energy had been sucked dry. To make things worse, I'd let money to a friend, never to see it again. And I couldn't stop consuming sugar and junk food, despite never-ending 
promises to myself that tomorrow I would stop. Or on the weekend I would stop. Or Monday I would stop. And yet the habit continued and was making me feel literally sick. All I want is peace from this seemingly never-ending hamster wheel of ups and downs in my life. After work, I drove back to my apartment feeling empty. The fun was sucked out of my life. I felt like I didn't belong. Lonely and alone, I sat on the sofa, necking back a glass of red wine, hoping to gain some rest from the lack of alignment I felt constantly. I felt the hands of the dull, flat energy surrounding me, ready to swallow me into the abyss of despair. There was a deep sense of not all rightment in my life, of not all rightness in my life. I looked in the mirror, seeing the sadness of the self-evident, self-depreciating me in the reflection. Louder and louder had my dissatisfaction for life become. How did I get here? I'm a failure. I wasn't living the life that I wanted. I was stuck with these habits, negative thinking. I remember looking at my vision board thinking, what is the point? I have tried everything. Hypnosis CDs, read self-help books, tried yoga, joined online classes, cleaned up my diet, using a new diet that was all the rage got meditation apps and started to sit in silence, wrote in my gratitude journal every single morning. It started to help. I felt a little more whole again. But the high never really lasted more than a few days or weeks. It wasn't a lasting breakthrough. I was back to my normal ways very quickly. I was listening to manifestation gurus all the time lifestyle experts telling me that if I wanted to get what I wanted in my life, if I wanted to be free, if I wanted the finances, if I wanted the relationship, I needed to visualise. I needed to think positive thoughts. I needed to vision board. I needed to journal. I needed to listen to magic sounds, to cut out things I enjoyed. I needed to avoid social media. I needed to walk in nature. I was doing all of it. Still, something was missing. It was like an invisible force was blocking my divine flow. The life I had chosen to live was becoming the nightmare I feared. I'd wake up the same time daily, make a decaf coffee, do the same things, repeating the cycle. A doldrum of failed dreams. Relationships between me and my family got more and more distant. I felt isolated and frustrated. I'd argue with the delivery man and spark confrontation. The smaller things got to me. I started to hate the person I was becoming. And then one day it happened. Smash! After knocking the bottle of red wine all over the cream carpet and nearly drowning in a pool of my own tears, throbbing thoughts like daggers to the brain, Nicola, you need to do this and you need to do that. You need to change this. You need to stop this. Why are you doing this? Why did you say that? That person doesn't like you. You're not good enough for this. That person's so much better than you. Your stomach's awful. You've got massive bags under your eyes. Your hair looks awful. It looks really disgusting that all the ends are split. It's dry. Your thighs are looking fat. It was exhausting. And I sat there feeling hopeless, bored and lonely. Then a voice said to me, you just need a good night out. And it was a strong voice, almost like an instruction, telling me, you really just need a good night out. Okay, I'll take myself out. Even though I was having a plain Jane day, where I felt fat and unattractive, I decided to pour myself a vodka and lemonade, put on my face and go. (laughs) I had the time of my life. 
The music was uplifting and pumping in the club that I went to. I allowed my body to move how it wanted to move with the rhythm and the beat of the music. I felt so happy and carefree. I looked around and saw everyone smiling and moving with no worries. I danced the night away. A living body is not a fixed thing, but a flowing event like a flame or a whirlpool, as Alan Watts says. And this is how I felt. Like a flame, like a fire. Free, fun, alive. It was amazing. The next day, I was even still buzzing. I felt the best I had in months. Moving freely to the uplifting music with a tribe of people that also just love to dance and celebrate themselves, celebrate life, was brilliant. And I really felt that energy and free. I had escaped the doldrum of the busy lifestyle. The monkey mind had gone. I wasn't even thinking anything about my life, myself. I was in total peace. An energetic, fun, loving peace. And then I really was living life in divine flow. It was a space of carefree manifestation. A place where you can manifest anything you really want. It's a state without the ups and the downs with thoughts. I felt happy with everything. Even the the down thoughts would just come and go. I felt totally cleansed. You know, it really felt like I had total clarity, total peace. The only problem was, is that when I started to go clubbing more, smelling of alcohol was really off-putting. Waiting to get into the club, I didn't really have the energy to put on my makeup, get dressed up, order a taxi, leave the house. Plus, it was really expensive. The prices in clubs for drinks now are just ridiculous. Even a bottle of water is extortionate and I wasn't drinking water, I can tell you. So I didn't always have the energy or the interest to get dressed up, travel, spend loads of money. And plus, the clubs that I was going to, well, I think most clubs, I didn't open at like really late. And I am normally in bed by 11. And if I don't go to bed at 11, I'm not quite the same the next day. And I want to be on top of my game for all of the wonderful people that I work with, with their marriage, with their anxiety, with their stress. I want to be, of the course, not hungover, fully alert, fully alive and have ha- having had a good sleep. But I really wanted to know how come dancing made such a great effect. So I did some research and my findings were shocking. The shocking evidence I uncovered was from a first article by the American Psychological Association. I really wanted to first of all learn about the importance of releasing stress. And this was actually because I was helping a lot of people with stress anyway. And chronic stress or a constant stress experienced over a prolonged period of time. Okay, I was causing a lot of stress in my thoughts about myself, can contribute to a long-term problem for heart and blood vessels and the consistent ongoing increase in heart rate. It can elevate the stress hormones, which can cause a huge damaging impact on the body. And this can increase the risk for hypertension, heart attack or stroke. Now, most people know that stress has that effect. So can poorly managed or repressed anger. So for those of us that are people pleasers, that don't like to voice our anger, then we also really suffer because we are carrying that anger inside of us rather than releasing it. This can increase also the risk of catching a cold, a flu, can ruin our digestive system, which is what was happening to me, and increase our risk of getting infections. So I knew this from my early days when I first became a counsellor and a coach over 10 years ago. But I wasn't really relating this to how much better I felt having the dance as a way to relieve 
stress. Why did dance make my stress vanish? That's what I really wanted to know. And not only that, how come when I was dancing, I was manifesting all of the things that I wanted to bring into my life? Better relationships, more money, more freedom, new opportunities that I couldn't even imagine. I really wanted to know more and I had to know more. So then I began reading a study that said that basically our thoughts become things and this has been scientifically tested and that negative thoughts and worrying and fearful thoughts cause sickness and positive thoughts can keep people healthy. And I knew that when I was dancing, I was having so many positive thoughts. But yeah, I still couldn't believe that just dancing and music could be what is creating my manifesting, could it? And then I remembered another doctor friend of mine and he said that people who set intentions every day of what they want to get out of a meeting, out of the week, are more likely to get everything that they want in their life. And so what I started to do is I started to set an intention and then dance. Set an intention and then have a little mini party, either at home or going out to clubs. And I really was bringing into my life amazing things. Because when you know what you want from an activity, when you know what you want, you drive your focus and attention to it and it comes to you. And then I started researching the energy uh, and the effect of prayer and meditations as well as positive ways to bring things to you. And I realised and learned from an amazing man called Dr. Basco who states that prayer, intention and love are all three ways that restore balance to somebody who is feeling ill or sick and helps with the manifesting. Now I was getting somewhere. Then I picked up another book by a best-selling author, Lynn McTaggart, who said that the universe is connected by a vast quantum energy field and that thought generates its own palatable energy, which you can use to improve your life. So if dancing improves my thinking... And then the thinking improves my energy field and your energy creates what you want in your life. This is why the dancing was helping me to manifest my dreams. I hope you're still with me. I know it may be going off in a little bit here. But if you like Bono, I love his quote that he says basically that music can change the world because music can change a person. And I really believe that. It was beginning to all come together. If a thought and emotion creates palatable energy, then dance and music can help move that energy into a new state. And then I read that when we harness the power of our energy with a group, we can change the world. Wow. So having a group is really, really important to support one another in lifting our vibrations, in lifting and changing that energy field. So I went further down the rabbit hole and studied more and more and more. One of the questions I had was how come meditating works so well sometimes and doesn't other times? And I began studying the great effects of meditation. A study carried out on 3,500 people who expressed varying levels of stress that undertook the meditation results, showed that those that had high levels of stress lessened their stress dramatically by listening to meditations. And the more stressed the person was, the higher the results, supporting the idea that meditation really is important. But yet so many people can't meditate, and that's often because they've got the negative energies stuck inside them. So when we first move and release those negative energies... Then, meditate. This is the key secret. We need to move first and then meditate. And then I found this quote. When we move to music and rhythm, a dynamic feedback loop happens back and forth between our body and our brain, which increases the dopamine, a happiness hormone, level in the brain and affects our mood in a positive manner. So it's going back and forth. And this is what we need to do. Dance and music helps us to connect our 
mind, with our soul, with our body. This then creates a happiness, release, positive thoughts, manifestation. It was all beginning to make crystal clear clarity. It's not enough to just sit still and use wishful thinking. It's not enough to just sit there and journal with your, and write out your goals. It's not enough to just stare at a vision board without any feeling or motion behind it. And then I began practicing and testing this. And it was just shocking to me how everything was coming to me. And then I discovered this awesome ancient African secret. I'm not sure whether you knew this, but I uncovered that in many cultures around the world, in villages all over Africa... They would turn to dance and music to fight fatigue and even sickness. In tribal villages all over Africa, there are people who go to traditional healers whenever they get sick. And rather than prescribe rest and relaxation, many of these healers will call the community together, ring out the drums and start dancing around a fire. Here, the healing is brought forth by the experience of shaking medicine. And that ecstatic trembling and shaking are the natural expressions of a spirited body. They indicate the process of heightened arousal that contributes the body's way of bringing forth self-corrective healing, well-being and transformation. And then I read a study by Dr. Elson, just really highlighting what I already believed. Dancing is accessible to everyone. People who can't stand can use their arms. And people who have lost movement in their arms can move their legs and torsos. Everybody can do this. You don't have to be super fit. You don't have to be young. You don't have to be anything other than yourself. It's a way to connect to your own body, music and to other people. It just depends on what your goals are. But we know that there are so many benefits of dancing... Cognitive, physical and social. And this merits consideration by everybody. And after reading this shocking but overwhelming supportive evidence, I was still a little bit sceptical. Why did dance and music help me to manifest so quickly? And that's when out of the blue, I fell over in the shopping mall. I tripped over my own feet. It hurt. Smack. But more the shock of tripping over my own feet in public. But it was all it took to knock the puzzle into place in my mind. I suddenly realised the real problem. All the gurus and self-help industry want to keep us stuck by buying more and more stuff from them about using the mind to manifest. You see, they talk about the mind-body connection. They talk about the power of thoughts. But they don't show you how to connect the mind and body and spirit into an effortless flow so that manifesting is easy. By that I mean that no one is showing you how to combine intention setting with free-flowing movement and the right vibrational music so you are in full alignment to attract and receive your dreams. The ultimate key to manifesting is that you must combine the free-flowing movement as in dancing however you want with intention setting Music in the right mixture to almost instantly shift your energetic vibration to a higher level. It's called movement manifestation. And once you start using it, opportunities start flooding in. Yes, opportunities really, really do start flooding in. It will feel like the whole world is working with you to give you what you want. I used to love going out dancing in my 20s. But as I got older, I felt bars and clubs weren't really what I wanted to do anymore. I didn't want to wait in queues. I didn't want to smell of smoke. As back in the day when I used to go clubbing, it was full of smoke. I didn't want to pay and wait to put my coat in the cloakroom and all of that jazz. I just wanted to be free. And now we can. I have helped many, many people in a private membership group that I'm already working with for their anxiety, their marriage or their healthy eating. 
either one-to-one or in this very private group, shift and manifest their goals and all different goals in this pilot group that I created. And every single one of them started, like me, to manifest their dreams. I had somebody reach their career goals. I had many people lose a load of weight and feel better about themselves. I had people let go of using alcohol or sugar to fix their feelings. I had people who doubled their income. I had a man who literally had really low self-confidence and grew his confidence. Then his wife became more attracted to him. I had a woman who was just so stuck in her marriage. She was being bullied. She was not sticking up for herself. And she just completely changed her life in such an amazing way. So it wasn't just happening for me. It was happening for so many people. And for me, many opportunities came in. I was asked by a couple if I could travel to Australia to do a marriage seminar. I was given free holidays to test out these luxury resorts and give my feedback on them. I was having so much love from my family when before I thought my family in the UK weren't really supportive of me or didn't really love me. Of course, I knew that they loved me deep down, but I sort of thought that maybe they think I'm weird or I'm an outcast. You know how sometimes those negative thoughts can occasionally pop into your head. I thought that my body was becoming old and a bit flabby and all of this completely disappeared and I found love, which was just absolutely amazing. But I tell you what, out of all of those things, my finances growing, these new opportunities, love in my life, all of that, the best thing was just having more energy, was feeling high, enthusiastic, feeling I can achieve anything I want, waking up feeling like, yay, I can't wait to experience today. That was a feeling that I had longed for. I used to wake up feeling, oh, my neck hurts, my back hurts, my shoulders ache, oh, I'm a bit tired, what have I got on today? And now I'm like, woohoo, bring on the day. So now let me tell you about what I have created. So I've been talking a lot, and so this is really what it is. If you want to join me, it would be amazing. So I have created a dance online community. It's basically a private membership group where we dance live together, if you can make the live timing. There's different timings each week to suit different time zones around the world. And we do this special dance system that I've created. It's a seven pillar system. So let me talk you through the seven Philip system. Now, the business is called, or the name is called, I shouldn't really call it a business, because actually I don't care about whether it's a business or not. For me, it's a passion, and I want as many people as possible to just start changing their life with music, movement, and meditation. So if you like movement, dancing, if you like music, if you like meditating, if you like any of my hypnotherapy tracks, if you tried them, then carry on listening. So it's a group that you can join where we're going to share manifesting tips with each other in this community. Several times a week, there's going to be a live dance party where we follow the seven pillars of Vinana. So Vinana means life, force, energy in Sanskrit. So the seven pillars of a class are, and I'm just giving you this in case you're a person that really likes to know what is it and What is it going to be like? What am I actually going to be doing, Nicola? So, the seven pillars are, the first pillar, I play a song where you close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and just tune in to what you really want to manifest. Some people want to manifest a new job, more finances, they want to let go of uh, an addiction, they want to just feel more energy, they want to stop shouting at their children... They want to have a better relationship with their husband or wife. They want to have a baby. All different reasons. So you tune into what you really want in your life. That's the first song. First pillar. The second pillar 
is we're opening the major energy channels in the body. So we're opening your heart, we're opening your hips, where we store a lot of stress and tension. We're opening the shoulders, we're releasing from the neck. We're opening, you know, we're moving the feet, the knees, just really opening up the body. So it's like a guided warm up where I'm giving a few instructions and you're listening, dancing however you want as I'm guiding you through the body parts. Pillar three, step three, is there's a song for feeling into your emotions. These days we're so busy in life, we don't feel into our emotions, so there's an emotional dance. Step four is feeling into your emotions. You would have either had positive emotions come up, or negative, or neutral. So the next song is about shaking off any low vibe energy and celebrating turning up any high vibe energy. Then we get to the celebration part of the dance. Now this is literally a 15 to 20 minute freestyle dancing session where you can just absolutely go as crazy as you want to. And you can, when you're doing this, do a special breath work, which I'll take you through at the beginning. So you get out of that monkey mind into a much higher state. And so you can really dance freely without any negative thoughts popping into your mind. And the music changes each day, each week, from Latino vibes to trance electronic music, to tribal shamanic beats, to some softer tunes, to some hip hop, to some uplifting lyrical house. It's all a variation. And then you lay down, a few minutes of silence, connecting to yourself. And then I'm gonna take you through a guided meditation. You don't have to say anything or do anything, you just relax in a lying down position or sitting if you want, but I, I really highly recommend lying down, like the Shavasana position if you do yoga. And I will put in so many positive affirmations for you to manifest in your life, to feel more calm, to feel more confident, to love yourself, to have a better relationship, whatever it is I choose for the theme of that session. So this is really amazing. And we're going to be some more supporting each other because so many people have shown that when we work as a community, when we support one another, we're more likely to manifest our dreams. So those are the seven pillars. That's what's going to happen. The class is 75 minutes to 90 minutes. It's going to be on a Sunday and a Thursday and maybe some other times. It depends on I'm going to be asking in the group the, the different times that people want. And of course, you can watch the replays and the videos if you can't make the live streaming. So there's no excuse not to move and enjoy this. You also get, if you sign up within the next few weeks, you will get loads of different bonuses from me. So you'll get my 21 best manifesting hypnotherapy tracks because I really want you to enjoy. You get four different pre-recorded dance classes with me that you can do any time. And you also get a bit more explanation and understanding of the seven pillar system, which I just described to you, how it works and how you can make it work. So this is what you're going to be getting. And you're also going to be learning about how, if you really love the process, you can become a certified teacher in this and share it with your local community, with your friends, with your family. That's coming up later on. But for now, this is really something to turn up your weekend, turn up your week, uh, release and celebrate your inner child, become free. So I'm going to put the link along with this episode. If you're ready to dissolve any negativity, to feel more calmness and peace, if you want to join this online dance party for a very limited time. There's a free trial period for $1. And then I'm going to be closing the doors in a few weeks. I'm going to be reopening them perhaps later, but I'm not sure when yet. I just really want to build this community. This is going out to lots of people now. So it's going to just be so exciting. Dancing from your own room, whether it's your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom, or even your work office sharing tips on manifesting, supporting one another, listening to really helpful, powerful meditations, having pre-recorded dance classes with me and becoming part of this cool community is what you can get. So if you're interested, all you need to do is click on the link along with this episode and you can join me. It's, 
I just can't wait to be joining with you and communicating with you every day inside the special community. All you need to do is go to https colon double forward slash training. Now training is with one N dot Nicola Beer dot com forward slash DP. That's DP for dance party. So again, if you can't be bothered to go to the show notes to get the link, then it's https dot um, colon double forward slash training dot Nicola Beer dot com forward slash DP. I am also going to put this on my Nicola Beer dot dot com website haven't even done that yet because this is brand new and the banana website which is its own website now this life or celebration party this is what i've been creating over the last few years is finally ready check it out that's vinana.com and vinana is spelled v i n a n a and yes so many people tell me that banana rhymes with banana and they just remember it by banana if that's the way you want to remember it feel free and i'd love your feedback do feel free to reach out to me as you can tell probably i've been rambling now and you can probably feel that sense of excitement in me that's because i've just had a massive amazing dance session this morning i've had so many positive feedback from people who are manifesting all of that they want in their life and i can't wait for you to try it if you're willing to give it a go okay take care lots of love bye Thank you for listening to How to Save Your Marriage with Nicola Beer. To book your free marriage strategy session today, you can visit www.nicolabeer.com, where you can also get the free marriage fixing ebook, request a topic for the show, and make a donation if the show has been of benefit to you and you want to help keep it going. We wish you an amazing love filled day ahead. <laughs>